Hello, hello, this is Serenette, and we are playing Creativeverse, and this is going to be a small supplemental video to my wire tutorial series. This is just a showcase of a an elevator type system, more of a safety catch elevator that I've been working on for a while. Uh, this elevator only goes up to one floor, very high up. Uh, does not work currently with separate floors, but if you're going a long distance, this one will get you there and back safely. So let's take a trip all the way up. Switch our direction and head down. And we managed to get up and down quite a long way with no damage and very easy. So this system uh, has two parts. First is the actual mechanism. Um, here I've just used a switch with an XOR gate. Uh, this is the kind of system I used for my uh, two-way ice rail and for my multi-way light switch. But you can use any kind of um, starting system, flip-flop or a latch or what have you. So here I have essentially um, two settings. When the switch or the system is on, all the doors are open. They receive a true signal, so they are in the open state. And all of the fans are on. So our fans push us up. Since the doors are open, we have nothing blocking us. Turning the switch turns off all the fans and closes all the doors. And you'll notice as we go down that I have a pressure plate right beside each door. Remember, pressure plates, we usually throw them on the ground, but they can work on their sides or even overhead. So here, when I step down, the pressure plate also opens the door. Now, in this game, you can fall a total of six blocks without taking damage. Um, here, I've put them at every five blocks just to be extra safe. So generally, the XOR gate is connected to every part of the system except for the doors themselves. The XOR gate is actually tied to an OR gate. So this OR gate just kind of helps to filter the inputs that it's getting both from the pressure plate and from the XOR so there's no kind of cross wiring. The pressure plate is connected to the OR gate at one input and the other input is from our XOR, or from our system, whatever you need it to be. And then of course the output for the OR is our door. And of course a little block so I don't go flying up. So just to review this system again, fans and doors through an OR gate all receive a true signal and then you can go down. Touching the pressure plate sends a tr true signal to the door to open it. And then after a preset time they automatically close. Ready for the next person to come down. All fans and doors true and we go up. I hope to have some more machines for you guys later. And if you have any questions or comments, or if you can think some better ways to do this or ways you would change it, please go ahead and share those. And one of the ways we're making better machines is by sharing ideas. So add your comments to the ones below. And until next time, take care.